Hey everyone, it's Austin, and welcome back to the channel. It's day 355 on my journey to 2000, where I'll be uploading a video every day until I cross that godforsaken finish line. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for your continued support. And into the 10 minute pool we go. After yesterday's loss and a win, we're at 1837. And we have the white pieces against an 1834 from Columbia. We get the Queen's Gambit accepted. This is the line that my um, coach recommended. Just getting a normal solid position. I think this is more accurate to threaten this. Than here. Than this. Perhaps hanging on to the pawn, I don't think is very good. I think here and then maybe this. I, I've i never seen bishop e3, so he wants to go here. So a4 comes to mind, a Catalan idea. Yeah, sure, why not? A4. He's hemmed in his dark squared bishop, so I'm not as worried about this square. All right. Okay. Let's go here. Takes, takes. Threatening the pawn here. Takes, takes. We can't take this, but at least we're... Continuing our development. If he wants to move a piece three times in the opening, we're going to let him do it. Yep, so he does choose to do this. I mean, taking seems very normal. I might even do this now. He wants to push. I don't think we're very scared of that. Here, just here. Push, takes, takes, takes. It's all Gucci. I can say, honestly, I've never played this position before. These, these lights die so fast, man. God, they die so fast. Okay, let's castle and go 95. Okay, so he goes there. That's fine. Let's go here and here. Wow, that is a weird move. Let's develop the piece. Here, I might be tempted to play this instead. Takes, takes. What am I missing? Am I not just winning this exchange? Weird game. Bishop e6 was so weird from the get-go. I don't know, maybe this is a line. That's that's the thing about the openings that I'm playing right now, is like when you were playing the London and the Karakhan, 
I feel like there's limited things that people can do that make sense. But against, like, okay, he played the Queen's Gambit accepted. You know, like, there's so many things that you can do that aren't necessarily bad. Okay, so he wants to give up a piece. Instead. Which I think is fair. Okay, and he wants to do that. Which I don't think makes too much sense, potentially. I can do this to defend the pawn. I'd love to find a way to check the king. What about just this and this? Or this takes and this? Feels pretty good. Maybe even just this. Just crack it open. Takes and takes. Sack a pawn. Win the game. Can also just defend it though. And not go so aggro for no reason. Let's just defend it. Let's just defend it. I do like this idea though. I kind of wanted to go here anyway to get access to the light square diagonal while simultaneously covering the d1 square. Okay. This move prevents any pieces from getting in trouble. Here we have this move. This is kind of a last ditch effort by my opponent, I think. This move also displaces the rook while simultaneously threatening checkmate. Yeah, GG. <laughs> so. Weird game. I only played a 73 because I had three misses and two mistakes. A4 is a very good choice. So I already had this move. Takes C3, B takes. Bishop D5. E4 is like screaming to be played. Yeah, e4 is the best move here. h6. Pd, hg, can take here. dc is more accurate because it leads to the bishop not getting tempoed. Okay, but this was a miss. This was a miss. This was an inaccuracy. If he did this, I would have been in trouble, I guess. How? Okay, here. Okay, knight c6. Okay, castles. e6. Bishop b4 loses in that position, so that makes sense. So here, I gotta step out of the way. Same idea though. F5 prevents it. And yeah, this is just very uncomfortable for me, I guess. Knight E5 anyway. Takes, 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 takes. And this is minus two point something, which feels crazy. But okay, fair enough. So I should have played this to prevent it. It was just an idea that we both missed quite a lot. And then at this point, it was just too late. Um, yeah. His best move here is bishop h6. Just making a square for his king so that way it doesn't get mated. 
E takes F. Threatening to take that square away. That's funny. Yeah, it's just kind of over. Alright, so that was a really quick one, so we'll play another one. Let's see what we can do. Got the white pieces again. I don't think I've ever seen this flag before. So the last guy was Colombia. This is Zambia. Very cool. Austrian variation. See, now I faced this in a blitz game earlier, and I don't know what to do about it. So I'm just going to, like, do this and hope for the best. Takes castles. Takes queen a4. Yeah, takes queen a4. If takes knight e5. And I think in that position he's busted, right? Bishop. Ugh. Arrows are hard. Bishop here. Queen a4. Okay, th let's think for a second. What does this resemble? This resembles a c5 open Sicilian. No, it doesn't, because he hasn't played knight f6. He hasn't wasted a tempo with that. He's really focusing on the queen side. So queen a4 takes here. Knight e5 here takes, 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 takes. And then we can come back and grab the pawn. We're still down a pawn. But his king can't castle. Yeah, I think the move is queen a4. I think the move is queen a4. I'm not entirely certain. What I'm used to seeing more in this position, at least from what I've studied so far, is um, knight f6 first, I have time to castle, and then takes, and then queen a4 is most certainly the move. So I'm wondering if after takes, he has some bishop b4 ideas. But even then, I think that I can play bishop d2 and knight bd2 to recapture if there's any issues in that resulting position. This does fully hang upon. But the idea, um, from what I can understand, is that he can't take it. Yeah, so I think that this is just the move. And I think, like, worst comes to worst, I can bail out and take the C-pawn. Here I'm definitely taking, obviously. This check... Ooh, this check. Aw. Oh. That check takes takes. What do I play? Oy vey, no. This is less than... This is less than good. His knight doesn't have any squares though. If it goes back, it's takes and then I win the exchange. No, this is good, though. Like, this is... It's interesting, The I, I don't think it's lost or anything. I think the dynamics are very much in the balance. If he goes here, then he hangs the rook. If he goes here, I take the bishop. There's not a way to defend the knight, so here just takes. And you can't take back, and then I'll take this pawn. And he still can't really develop his dark squared bishop. 
Interesting. That is a very good looking move. All right. I think he's hanging on very well here. Here I can take Desperado for this. But I want to start gobbling pawns. Start getting some pawns back. And the idea being that his pawn structure is just going to be in shambles. And he's so far behind in development, he has no pieces out. This is very interesting. I'm, I really am curious to know the evaluation of this position. No, but what does that do? His idea is to go here. But then I'm going to take here. Man, I want a long castle. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. Is this move good anyway? I'm not so sure that it is. Long Castles comes with tempo. I think Long Castles is much more in the spirit of the position. Much more in the spirit. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't immediately see a problem with this move. So there's this but then takes. Okay, so he defends the pawn that way. Why did I think he couldn't do this? Interesting. <laughs> Just straight up threatening this spawn and this spawn, technically. He goes there. This covers it now. To an extent. This move. Where is he going with the knight? 
How is he dislodging my knight? He needs to move the bishop after this move. Here, here. That's easy work. I bet you it's been completely winning for black the whole time, but the the play, just like practically speaking, is so difficult. I see f4 in my future. Maybe not. That would significantly weaken this square, which could be very good for his knight. Right now, the knight doesn't really have anywhere to go that's special. Bishop is just hanging. I think you overlooked that when I captured this pawn that it would defend this pawn. If I had to guess. And he really wants to push this pawn, but I think that does nothing but weaken his position. Because it opens up the light square diagonal to his king. Here, I think I can throw in this move. No, he just does that. Why aren't I taking? Takes, what's the threat? What's the idea? I don't see it. I don't understand. So we went from being down two pawns to up a pawn. If he plays check, I can just take, and I don't really... If you take... Oh, man. Damn, I'm stupid. Holy shit. That's crazy. Wow, I'm brain dead. Holy smokes. That's okay. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe that I missed that. Wow, that's crazy. All right. Whew. All right, shake it off, Austin. Shake it off. You got to get your uh, act together a little bit here. This, this seems like the correct square. Still limiting the development of the light squared bishop. My knight has no good squares now, though. Mm, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate, indeed. Perhaps some... I can't believe I missed this. I mean, I can. I knew I should've just played this. I would've been completely winning. Oops, sorry. Okay, I like this idea. He, he really wants to free up this whole light squared bishop situation. Wow. What if I go uh, crazy here and play this move? He goes back. This move. He can throw in this move. And then my ideas were misplaced. Let's do it. Keep some pressure up.
This is going to be very bad for me. I wanted to play this to hit this, but it just doesn't work. Damn. Bro is finding very good moves. I don't appreciate it. There. It's only logical. Here. Here I have to like reshuffle to another file because I, I have no play on this file. Here hangs a fork. Can't even go there. I have to like go here and here. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. That's not good. That's really not good. I mean, <laughs> Ugh, not good. Check here. Check here. Yeah, I just hung that piece and that was kind of it. It was um, way too critical of a position to be able to go down a piece. Wow. Yeah, because this isn't even hanging. You absolute buffoon. All right. Wow, that's crazy. have to take i feel like i have to take i mean i don't know go here back here okay here Is this winning now? This might be his best move. I'm threatening mate. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh my god, I'm gonna win. Wow. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. GG. Um, uh, keep the stick on the ice. I mean, what can you say? This is all book. I'm curious, like, what percentage of games play Knight F3 in this? Very low. CD is most common. Queen takes. Well, I guess it does kind of transpose into... Perhaps not. Queen a4 is the most played move in this position, and it is the best move. Takes. I needed to take here. Queen takes. Bishop takes. 
if you take here oh this is theory no 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 no. i miss this is in my notes this is in my notes i remember now because there's this gross idea you play bishop d7 and then you can throw the queen off no it's a different it's a slightly different position it it stems more from the position that I was talking about earlier after knight f3 and castles. Then if takes queen a4, um, takes knight takes, queen takes, we have bishop takes, bishop e7, and then rook d1. And then your best move is to do this and then you can desperado the queen and in this position we're um we're winning i mean it, it's it's plus 0.5 but i think it's hard to survive that psychologically so this was a mistake and i found the best continuation taking was silly okay long castles was a lot okay here oh yeah i can't do this anymore I was thinking about takes, but you can't take because this isn't open no more. So cast long castles was definitely a mistake because it allowed b3 or b6. And then I think I maybe even realized that because that's why I got my bishop out of the way. And then I went this way to attack the pawn, but knight uh, d2 was better. Mistake because of this, because it counterattacks the bishop. And then I just completely forgot that my bishop was hanging. I mean, this move would have guaranteed that we win the pawn. Knight b4. I mean, what is this? It wants king b1, but I feel like this move is screaming to be played. Yeah, a3. Here. Takes. Comfortably better. But unfortunately, I blundered. I mean, it happens. Um, I just tried to keep practical chances alive here. Okay, I didn't like... I didn't like this because takes, and he hits this, ED, it wants us to sack the exchange. See, but like, if if this is the best engine line, I never would have won this game. You, you gotta keep more pieces on the board, you can't go like, sacrificing pieces like that. Like, even here, you know, like, I wanna play this so bad, I just wanna play this so bad and relieve some pressure on the position, but I knew that, like, I had to keep pieces on the board. It's a draw, and now it's mate. So, if this, and I take, knight b5, forks, and then I probably would've... You know, that's, that's a losing position, obviously. And now this is just a draw. According to the engine. Why? King h8. Okay, but takes. And now you just move the rook. Yeah, I mean, just this. Something like this, and you can give perpetual. But I ain't given perpetual here. I probably would have played this. And then it's like, okay, how do you defend it? He would have to, he would have to find knight b5. Okay, but then this, but then it allows checks, and he's promoting. Takes f8. Rook d7. If check. King b2. That's a scary move to play. He has no discoveries. If he goes here, king a3 is wild. Push for mating. Wow. But then he blundered mate. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I was thinking from the beginning, you know, like this, this was our position to lose. In this, in this position, we should have, we should have won. But I made this one move, I made this one mover. So, I don't feel so bad taking it away from, from homeboy. Alright.
well, I, it's been a long time since we won two, uh, two games on one video. But I'll tell you what, that feels great. I needed that right now. So, um, yeah, if you made it this far in the video, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it as always. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow for more Kiwi Chess.